What's going on guys, it's Ben here from BH Aquatics and in today's video, we're actually gonna be taking a look at some of the footage that I took of the NEC yesterday, yesterday uh, Northeast Council of Aquarium Society's yearly convention. I think this was the 44th one that they've had. It's the first one that I've actually ever been to. Um, and it was a great turnout. I, I got there around 9.30 in the morning and stayed until about 4, 4.30 at night. Um, throughout the day, although just sitting there with the New England Fancy Guppies Association might sound boring, um, I did get to walk around the vendor room, meet some really cool people, uh, get several business cards for contacts in the future, and you know just get to see some really, really cool stuff for the aquarium hobby. Um, so without further ado, let's get into some of the footage of the different shows that, I, that were there and uh, the vendor room itself. So right now we're starting off at some of the clips that I've taken uh, on the inside of the vendor room. This here is all the way to the back of the room. It's the uh, silent auction. I believe it was put on by the Boston Aquarium Society, but do not quote me on that because I'm not sure for sure. Uh, it was. It looked like it had quite a good turnout. They did have quite a few fish in it. And uh, although I did not bid on anything, um, it looks like they were getting some pretty good bids for certain fish. So the vendor you're looking at right now is Island Discus out of Pennsylvania. Um, the owner of this uh, Discus vendor, he was extremely nice. He had a couple of raffles going, but uh, the most important thing about this this whole thing that he had going on in his vendor uh, section was just the Discus. These are probably the most impressive and highest quality Discus that I have seen so far. Um, as much as I'd like to say that I've seen uh, the same quality uh, at Central Mass Aquatics, unfortunately, nothing can beat how amazing some of these are. Um, other than the discus, of course, he does have some miscellaneous fish like flower horns. And I, I thought this one looks like a severum, but I'm not sure to be exact. I'm not a cichlid professional like some of those who are part of the New England Cichlid Association, uh, which we will be looking at their show later on in the video. Um, but these here, I mean, look at those. Stunning, stunning. I don't know how expensive they were, but who really cares about the price with such high quality fish? All right, discus fish for $15. Who can beat that? I mean, they're small. They're just about the same size we get them in at Central Mass Aquatics. Um, but for $15, I don't know if that was just a vendor uh, special, at the convention, but for $15 for discus that small, not these ones, of course, I think these ones are 40. That is an incredible price for quality discus from quality breed. This stuff right here is just the New England Fancy Guppies Association table area. Um, we actually had multiple tables for the club. I just went over to help out. Um, that was the real reason I went down, but it turned out there wasn't that much that needed to be done. Um, there was a little bit of setup that we had to do in the beginning. Um, but as you'll see, when we look at the show here, there really was not that many entries. I believe I counted approximately 45 entries, um, which is close to like no entries. It's like, that's like literally like maybe 5% of the entries that we normally get, uh, in the Lancaster IFGA, uh, show in, uh, at Perkins school, um, where there's. I, I don't remember how many there were. I think there was maybe like 500 entries last year. Um, I think there was probably more actually because there was a lot more uh, tables than there were here. This is only one rack of like maybe 20, 25 that we had set up in Lancaster. So it was a very small version, not a great turnout, but we did still have some quality show guppies. All right, so what you're taking a look at now is actually the New England Cichlid Association Cichlid Show. Sorry about the glare. For, for whatever the reason, the glare is just extremely bad in some of the areas of this uh, uh, convention. Um, since I am just taking the video on my phone, there's not much I can do about it. Uh, it was, it was kind of sad because there was such a small turnout for these cichlid uh, goers that were part of the cichlid show. I think there was only 10... Um, 
entries for the Cichlid show. There were supposed to be 20, but a bunch of them didn't make it uh, or didn't come. Two of the fish actually died in shipment, um, so that is, was extremely unfortunate. Um, but either way, the cichlids that were still remaining, the ones that were still entered in the show that survived, were in pretty good condition, and some of them looked really, really nice. This one was my personal favorite, giant angelfish. I mean, look at the size of that. Uh, I was talking to one of the guys who's actually running it, and he said they had another angelfish about the same size that died on shipment, and that was one of the two that was entered but just didn't make it through the shipment because since it died, it couldn't obviously be shown. Um, although it was small, you could tell there were still some really nice quality cichlid fish. All right, so what did I get? Obviously, going to the NEC, it's like a kid in a candy shop minus I'm still a kid. It's a kid in a fish store, basically. Um, and all of you hobbyists who are enthusiastic about fish just like me, you would know it's hard not to buy anything. These here are gold cobra guppies that I bought from Michael from Michael's Fish. So this here is Spirulina 20. It's fish food flake from Zoomed. I got two of these uh, pretty nice size uh, samples from a vendor in the vendor room. This here is just a short clip of some of the various different business cards that I actually picked up from the different people that I met at the convention. Uh, all of them very, very nice people. Lastly, I decided that I wanted to show you guys how the gold cobra guppies settled in after I acclimated them to the tank and put them in. Obviously, they look like they're swimming around fine. They're doing great in the aquarium, and I'm hoping for some nice breeding in the future. If you guys are not already subscribed and you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it, I recommend you like, subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next Sunday.